In this episode, the travel professor is in Tuvalu. Where in the world is Tuvalu, I hear you ask? Well, right there, basically in the middle of the Pacific. Made up of nine islands, Tuvalu is one of the smallest countries in the world, both in terms of size and population. There is about 11,000 people in Tuvalu and the geographical area is about 26 square kilometers. Cabin crew, please be seated for landing. To get to Tuvalu, I caught a flight from Suva, the capital of Fiji, two and a half hours north into the Pacific. And it's just amazing once you see land again. Here is the lagoon of Funafiti. Tuvalu was first thought to be inhabited about 3,000 years ago. In 1978, Tuvalu became an independent country. Before that, it was called the Ellis Islands and it was a British colony and administrated together for a time with the Gilbert Islands, which is now known as Kiribati. The approach in to Tuvalu, uh, into the main island of Funafiti, is just incredible. So we're just about to land, just about to land, just about to land, and oh, we're taking off again. We missed a landing. What happened? Here is the problem. A dog ran onto the track and the flight had to uh, take off again, so we didn't run over the dog. Uh, so we have to do a loop around uh, and we get another chance to see and come into uh, Funafiti and see Tuvalu uh, from the air. All good this time, no dog on the runway, and the landing was smooth. So, I've arrived. Some viewers might have heard of Tuvalu with respect to climate change. Countries like Tuvalu and Kiribati and the Maldives are threatened by sea level rises because they're low-lying atolls. You can see here we've got the lagoon on the right and the ocean on the left and there's only a thin strip of land separating the two. So any changes in sea levels, uh, particularly rises, will decrease land mass even more. When your island is only 11 kilometers long and less than 100 meters wide, 
the issue of what to do with garbage becomes of paramount importance. Here is the dump at one end of the island where you can see white goods, uh, plastics, uh, old cars uh, being uh, dumped and put in one, one place. The Tuvalu government have been working with uh, international donors such as the EU and Australia to deal with this problem. One thing that's not in short supply on the island is pigs. Uh, these are grown and uh, cooked up for every feast on the island. So delicious. Well, Tuvalu doesn't have many land resources. It does have a lot of water resources. Uh, you can see behind me there's three beautiful yellow fin tuna caught out in Tuvalu waters. Actually, selling the fishing rights is one of the main sources of income for the country of Tuvalu.